green flag is out here. Everybody's already getting single file, mainly because of uh, how this circuit is built right now. Uh, they roar out of the first turn here. Down into the S as they go. The 32 right now. He might be able to get in here. He might be able to get into this race here. It's only five laps right now that they have to race for. Um, and the 32 has already made it in. He might be able to tie it though for second, uh, well now third place um, in the chase. So we'll see. They come boring down the hill. Coming off the turn, 32 still with that lead. Started on the pole, and here comes a car trying to get to his inside. Still trying to get to his inside. Looks like he might be able to. No, he won't. As now they come out of that uh, little U-turn now through the S as they go. There's the 32. They're coming into this strange part of the racetrack here. Off of that area and into another weird area here. Another little braking zone here. They'll be turning in right here. This has not been done before yet. As they come by off, off of that area, the 32 will lead that lap here. Now we're going to watch from the second place vehicle here, trying to catch up to the 32. Off of that turn, now through the S's here. Will the 64 be able to get to that 32 before the end of this race? It will be interesting to see. Now they won't be racing on this part of the racetrack, this is just a practice right now for uh, the normal outer groove area. As they come down the hill. 32 still with that lead. I don't expect really anybody to catch him here. I'm going to drop back here to 10th place. See how it goes. I'm curious about the braking that these guys have to do. They come into the next turn here. This is the onboard with the 28 car. 29 is teammate up in front of him. up there someone trying to get third place right now Here they come in two turns we'll be right back
now they're going through the S's here. Go back out front. The same guy. The 32. But he's got the 64 all over him trying to get that position. The 64, if he can win this, and he can win heat race number two, he can make it in. Here. Here they come, the 32 out front, 64, not too far behind, as they come through the S's, here they come into the braking zone, they'll be coming to complete lap 4 here. 64 keeps overdriving that turn. I just don't see him being able to catch up to the 32 here. They come through the final, coming into the final turn here. Here comes the 64, getting right up well under the bumper of the 32. The only way he'll be able to catch, uh, get this 32 and pass him is by wrecking him. One lap to go here. Launched by a GoPro. Like, not literally sponsored by GoPro, but, you know, shout out to him. I just saw that billboard. Um. Coming into the center part of the racetrack, the only place that they can really pass is on the center and in that final turn. The 32, he'll rush down the hill. Looks like he's going to tie it for uh, second place as long as he can beat this 64 here. Here comes the 64. He's going to try to dive inside. Nope, never mind. Not close enough. 32 only has to get through these S's and through those hard turns here. To be able to win. Through the S as they go. 64 is closed in. It's going to depend on how much braking the 64 car puts in here. Not able to get him. Right beside of him though for a split second. The 64. Not going to be able to get him. Here comes the 32. Into the final two turns. And it looks like it's over. The 32. Into the final turn. He's going to do it here at Sonoma. Three points to the good. The 32 car will win. Here at Sonoma. Wait. Yeah. He's just won at Sonoma. Wow. He just won our first heat race here at Sonoma. He's trying to catch up with his teammate who has uh, four. Now he has three. So congratulations to the 32 machine. 
now on to heat race number two.